Once upon a time, there existed a legendary warrior, renowned for his extraordinary kung fu skills and enigmatic appearance. This mysterious panda, draped in a flowing cape and a sedge hat, traversed the picturesque Chinese landscape, hailed as a grand master of kung fu. He found himself stepping into a bustling tavern where the local troublemakers wasted no time in attacking him. However, they soon realized they were no match for his unmatched prowess. Even the renowned Kung Fu masters, the Furious Five, were left in awe of his abilities, humbly requesting to join him and fight alongside him. As the giant panda woke up from this thrilling dream in his room, his goose father, Mr. Ping, called to him from their noodle restaurant below, urging him to help serve tables. Our protagonist, Po, admired his collection of Furious Five action figures before heading downstairs. Po was an ardent Kung Fu enthusiast, dreaming of one day becoming a master worthy of fighting alongside the famous Five. Yet, his weight and clumsiness seemed to hinder this aspiration, making it nothing more than an elusive dream. He hesitated to share his dreams with his dad, who was preoccupied with running the restaurant and promoting his secret ingredient soup. At the Jade Palace Temple, Master Shifu, a red panda, diligently practiced kung fu in the courtyard with his skilled students, the Furious Five. Ugwe, known for his wisdom, calmly revealed that he had a premonition. The formidable snow leopard warrior, Tai Lung, would escape from prison and return to the Valley of Peace, seeking vengeance and causing devastation once more. Shifu took swift action and dispatched his loyal goose messenger, Zhang Dan Fogler, to Chorgum Prison to ensure maximum security. With the looming threat in mind, Ugwe announced that the time had come to choose the Dragon Warrior, a master of extraordinary skill who would be granted access to the universe's profound secrets hidden within the elusive Dragon Scroll, carefully kept out of reach on the temple ceiling. Anticipating that one of the Furious Five would be the chosen one, Shifu organized a competition to determine the worthy candidate. Flyers were distributed throughout the town, sparking excitement among the villagers who eagerly flocked to the temple, thrilled at the prospect of witnessing their revered idols in action. Po struggled to push his noodle cart up the long staircase leading to the temple. By the time he reached the gates, he was the last to arrive, only to find them closed, barring his entry. Determined not to miss the competition, Po attached fireworks to his cart and launched himself into the air. However, his plan went awry, and he crashed into the arena just as Ugwe was about to make his choice from among the Furious Five. To Po's surprise, he opened his eyes to see Ugwe's finger pointing directly at him. He was declared the Dragon Warrior, much to Shifu's objections. Despite the protests, Ugwe's decision stood, and Po was carried, still in disbelief, into the temple. Tigress felt disappointed since it seemed Ugwe would have chosen her if Po hadn't arrived in time. Inside the temple, Po marveled at the array of weaponry and valuable artifacts. Shifu approached him, expressing his disapproval and berating him for his lack of skill. Shifu then demonstrated the powerful Wuxi finger hold, which left Po feeling deflated. Shifu warned Po that he would regret ever being chosen as the Dragon Warrior. He then led Po to the training room, where he was put to the test. Though nervous, Po was excited to try some kung fu moves. However, the Furious Five were relentless in their training, throwing him around and beating him down to what they perceived as a level of zero skill. As Po made his way to the dormitories, he overheard the Furious Five poking fun at his perceived incompetence. Feeling disheartened, he had an awkward conversation with Crane, opening up about his doubts of truly being the Dragon Warrior. Feeling discouraged, Po retreated to a secluded spot beneath the peach tree of heavenly wisdom, stuffing peaches into his mouth for comfort. There, Ugwe found him and sensed his distress. Noticing Po's tendency to seek solace in food, Ugwe advised him to focus on the present moment rather than dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. Encouraged by Ugwe's wisdom, Po renewed his determination and made up his mind to stay and continue training. The next morning, before anyone else was awake, Po declared his decision to remain and train. Despite his undeterred enthusiasm, he faced swift beatings and sparring sessions with each of the Furious Five. During an acupuncture session with Mantis, the Five revealed that Shifu had not always been as stern and closed off as he appeared to be currently. Tigress reveals to the group that Tai Lung was the reason for Shifu's change in demeanor. Shifu had found the Snow Leopard Cub as a newborn on the temple's steps and raised him as his own. He hoped that Tai Lung was the legendary dragon warrior due to the cub's extraordinary talent in kung fu. However, when the time came for Tai Lung to be considered for the dragon scroll, Ugwe sensed darkness in him and denied him the honor. Enraged, Tai Lung unleashed his fury on the village and attempted to forcibly take the scroll. Caring deeply for Tai Lung, Shifu couldn't bring himself to fight the cub, and Ugwe was forced to defeat him using the Wuxi finger hold. Zhang arrives at Chorgum Prison and is escorted to Tai Lung's cell by the overconfident commander Bashir, a rhinoceros. Bashir boasts about the prison's inescapability, but Tai Lung, using a feather from Zhang the Goose, frees himself from his Kai blockers and escapes in a display of fierce kung fu abilities. Shifu finds Ugwe beside the sacred peach tree and shares the troubling information. Ugwe is shocked but reassures Shifu that if he believes in Po and trains him well, they can defeat Tai Lung, leading Shifu to find inner peace. Ugwe passes his wooden staff to Shifu, indicating that his time has come, and 
and he walks towards the edge of the cliffside, disappearing in a flurry of peach blossoms. Returning to the temple, Shifu informs the five about Uwe's passing and emphasizes that Po is now their last hope to defeat Tai Lun. Horrified, Po runs away from the temple, but Shifu intercepts him. Po confronts Shifu, questioning why he stayed despite Shifu's attempts to push him away. Po confesses his deep self-loathing, feeling like a failure due to his weight, and explains how he held on to a faint hope that Shifu could change him. Overhearing their conversation from the temple roof, Tigress leaves the Jade Palace and runs to the countryside, followed by the rest of the Furious Five, determined to confront Tai Lung head-on. They find him crossing the Thread of Hope, a series of bridges through the mountains. Attempting to stop him on the last bridge, an epic battle ensues. The five seem to have defeated Tai Lung. However, Tai Lung's skills prove superior. Rising early that morning, Shifu finds Po in the temple kitchen, surrounded by cabinets with perfectly punched holes and boards broken cleanly in two. Shifu takes him high into the wooden mountains, to the Pool of Sacred Tears, where Uwe founded the origins of Kung Fu. With a dramatic flourish, Shifu declares himself to be Po's master, finally having full faith in his student. Empowered by this newfound emotional support, Shifu begins a rigorous and unique training for Po, using food as a reward. As Po progresses, he becomes stronger, more coordinated, and his skills improve drastically. Returning to the temple, Crane arrives carrying the rest of the Furious Five, who have been paralyzed by Tai Lung's attacks. Shifu manages to rejuvenate the Furious Five, but Po is disheartened by the fact that even five masters couldn't overpower Tai Lung. Shifu assures him that he possesses something no one else has, the Dragon Scroll. Retrieving the scroll for Po, Shifu instructs him to read it. However, Po is shocked to find the scroll blank and reflective, feeling terribly disappointed. Realizing the severity of the situation, Shifu decides to have the five evacuate the village while he stays at the temple to confront Tai Lung. Though the five are reluctant, they agree to Shifu's plan. Meanwhile, Po returns to his father, who is packing up the noodle shop. Mr. Ping tries to console Po, and in a heartfelt moment, reveals the secret ingredient to his famous soup, nothing. He explains that something becomes special if people truly believe in it. With newfound understanding, Po opens the dragon scroll again, only to see his own reflection on its glazed surface. He finally grasps the secret, believing in himself. Filled with resolve, Po heads back to the temple where Shifu waits at the top of the steps. Tai Lung arrives, demanding the scroll as his birthright and blaming Shifu for implanting false dreams of destiny in his mind. Shifu, while fending off Tai Lung's attacks, justifies that he was only obeying Master Uwe's judgment. For a moment, Tai Lung is moved by this confession, but his vindictive ambition quickly resurfaces. He spurns any interest in apologies or reconciliation with his foster father and remains fixated on obtaining the Dragon Scroll. Just as Tai Lung is about to deal a deadly blow to Shifu, Po appears at the doorway of the temple, seemingly exhausted. Despite Tai Lung's bafflement at the Dragon Warrior's pudgy exterior, he attacks Po when he sees the Dragon Scroll in Po's hand. Their intense battle takes them into the village, with each one striving to possess the scroll. At one point, Po imagines the scroll as a bowl of dumplings, using the imagery to motivate himself to climb a high precipice to retrieve it. Finally, after a prolonged and intense confrontation, Tai Lung gains possession of the scroll. He opens it with a triumphant belief that it will grant him immense power. However, he completely fails to grasp its symbolic meaning when he sees only a golden reflection within. Po tries to explain its significance, but Tai Lung refuses to accept the truth, feeling that everything he betrayed and sacrificed has been in vain. Consumed by enraged despair, Tai Lung launches another attack on Po, but his actions lack discipline or a true purpose. Utilizing his ingenuity and the rebounding effect of his stomach, Po manages to disarm Tai Lung, rendering him powerless. Po takes his finger in the Wuxi finger hold, but Tai Lung dismisses it as a bluff, assuming Shifu never taught him the move. Po admits that he figured it out on his own, and with a triumphant skadoosh, he flexes his pinky, unleashing a magnificent wave of raw energy that resonates throughout the valley. The impact is felt by the Furious Five, who are leading the refugees into the hills. The force of the attack seemingly defeats Tai Lung, and Po is hailed as a hero by the returning villagers. The five bow down to him, now acknowledging him as their master. Po rushes back to the temple to check on Shifu and finds him lying still on the floor. Relieved to see that Shifu is alive, Po tells him that he defeated Tai Lung. Shifu thanks Po and conveys that he has finally found peace. He closes his eyes, but Po becomes concerned and calls out to him. Shifu reassures Po that he is merely resting. Po lies down beside his master, and after a moment of quiet meditation, he suggests they get something to eat. Shifu agrees, and they enjoy a meal of dumplings together at the peach tree of heavenly wisdom, overlooking the dawn of a new day. As they share this moment, a seed that Shifu had previously planted begins to bloom, symbolizing new growth and possibilities. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more interesting movies.